Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review, first impressions, of the Nano Steamer 3-in-1 Multifunctional Ionic Facial Steamer. Honestly, this was a gift my husband bought for me off of Amazon a while ago and I've opened it but I've never used it and then I kind of just put it back like I pulled a few pieces out I was literally pulling stuff out the other day because I'm decluttering and I'm cleaning and I thought you know what I'm going to use this try it but I'm gonna try it with you guys so we can kind of see like What's the tea? Is it good? Is it not? That's why I'm in a robe. But I heard that this has a lot of benefits. Some of them are hydration, makes you have like glowy skin. It can soften your skin, open your pores, kind of lets you get like your products and serums and whatnots into your pores a little bit better. And that it's, you know, therapeutic. It's it's like a spa at home. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on. So my hair is out of my way. This is the Nano Steamer. I will put the price and whatnot across the screen. I don't think it was too pricey. It also has a towel steaming chamber. It is designed for accurate focus of steam. And this is 200 milliliters of water tank, 30 minute steam time. I heard that you shouldn't steam your face more than like 10 to 15 minutes at a time. So if you are kind of like up to date or know this kind of stuff, let me know down below because I don't know. And there is a temperature control knob. So you have warm towel, facial steamer or humidifier. Oh, it's a humidifier. Okay, features and highlights instantly produces nano scale steam for increased skin penetration and effectiveness. Precise temperature control knob, instant vapor technology, separate towel warmer, also functions as a powerful humidifier and aromatherapy device so you can put essential oils in it. Five pieces stainless steel extractor kit. Oh, oh, it comes with a five piece. Okay, I see you. Now that we've talked about her. See, like, I kind of just, like, opened it, but I never, like, I never got further than opening this cup. I'm a mom, okay? Like, I tried, and then life got in the way, and I literally haven't touched it. So this is, like, the little kit that comes with it, and you get, holy moly, all of these extracting tools. So, okay. This is what it looks like. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, warning. Read this. Use distilled water only. The use of mineral or tap water will cause scale deposits, which will permanently damage this machine and cause it to malfunction. Please clean the inner chamber with distilled water before the first use and after every use to ensure proper functional maintenance. Okay, so don't use tap water on this is what they're saying. So this is the tank. This is how much water can be put in here. And then, so that comes like this and you just put it in there. So this is the actual face, like where the steam comes out. I don't think you do it like this. <laughs> I'm just silly. And then it comes out of here. I'm assuming that this might be the towel chamber because I don't know where else it opens. <laughs> yes. So this is the towel chamber in here. So I can put like a cloth heated up. Like you know how they do before you get a facial and they just like put that warm, beautiful cloth on your face. And then this is like the whole thing. And then you have the knob here, which turns. So I guess this is to measure the water. Yeah, I'm gonna pour it in here and then pour it in that container so I don't make a mess. And that's all that's in here. I think I'm just supposed to open that. Do I just pour it in? There's no way I just pour it in there. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I can't get this off. My god, that took me forever to open. First impressions, you suck for that. So I have my handy dandy distilled water from Walmart. We're gonna just pour it into this beaker. I almost said beacon. This beaker. And then we're gonna pour it into the tank. So then we just turn it upside down and we clamp it in there. And then turn to facial steamer. Ooh, it lights up. And it says it takes about 20 seconds before it actually comes out. So let's see. Okay, it's making some noise. Sounds like it's heating up. Okay. So we have some steam. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is definitely steam here. So we're going to move our face carefully to it. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. It feels nice. It's kind of hot. Am I supposed to be taller? Oh, like this. 
So you don't need to be down here. You just need to be forward. Something like this is really, really nice too when you're sick and you're not feeling well. You're congested. Mm. Oh, this feels nice. It definitely feels very like spa-like. But it's very hot and I'm not gonna lie, every time I try to talk over the heat or the steam, it like chokes me. It's weird. My face does feel like really moisturized. Like I feel like wet. Like somebody put water on my face. And I'm turning because all of the things I saw on like YouTube, they say to like move your face around. So you can get different parts of your face. You probably shouldn't pick the steamer up like I did. It can be kind of dangerous because it can spill out of this really, really hot area. So now that I've steamed it for about 10 minutes, I am adding my Wishful Thirst Trap Serum. I will tell you guys, my skin feels so nice. Like it feels so good and hydrated and just, oh. So I am going to use my products directly after doing this because it says that it opens up your, you know, your pores. I wonder if I did with this one keep them open no I think I've done long enough I know it says like there's a whole time that you should be doing it so I'm now gonna go into my sand and sky Tasmanian spring water that I have this is just a hydration boost cream and I just dab it like that now I usually use these products all the time just not with a steamer I'm trying to see if it kind of feels any different. I will say though, I was feeling really, really dry, like around here and on my eyes and I do not feel that anymore. So I really think that it did help with the hydration. It was so nice. It was like a spa. Like literally I could fall asleep right now. I probably could have sat in front of that thing for so long and just, I don't know why I didn't use this thing sooner. It's so nice, so freaking nice. It's just really comforting. So if you guys are focusing on self-care this year, get a face steamer. It doesn't have to be a super expensive one. I know some of them, oh my gosh. Some of them that I looked at a couple, like I think it was like last year he got me this. They were like two, three hundred dollars and I was like, two, three hundred? At that point, I'm just going to go get my freaking facial from a esthetician. So I'm putting on my moisturizer now that I have all that one. Ooh. If you guys want like an updated skincare routine or dry skin routine, let me know and I will get you one. I know I did one like a long time ago. I just feel so good. I literally could just fall asleep right now. Look at my skin. Oh, I know I need my eyebrows done. Don't judge. Don't judge. Oh, it feels so soft. And it feels so good. I also used the Confidence in a Cream Face Moisturizer. I think that this is my new best friend. I know I did read online. Oh, my hands are moisturized, so I can't turn my thing off. So I did read online that I'm just steaming my hands at this point that you should only do this one to two times a week. It didn't really say on my package. Um, so I don't really know, but you know, I'm not a dermatologist. I don't really know. And I don't really know what to tell you guys, I guess, in terms of like how often you should do it. So if you are a dermatologist or esthetician, hi, welcome to my channel. Can you please comment down below and tell us how often we should be steaming our face? It feels like, ugh, like, I don't want to keep touching my face. I do have this guy. I don't know what's happening here. I tried to extract it, but nothing, nothing came out. So I'm just going to have to use 
some pink lotion and get rid of that but i just feel like this was amazing i have to get the price for you guys so 39.94 is how much it is right now on amazon that is not bad oh they have so many different kinds too but it's very inexpensive i will say it is definitely something that I will be using often. Um, this is a first impression, so of course I will come back and let you know, like, after I used it a couple of times, how I feel about it, how did my skin feel a couple hours afterwards. I will tell you right now, my skin feels phenomenal. <laughs> like, it just... Look, look look at this hi hello glowing skin so we're all about self-care and taking care of our bodies and our skin this year so i'm just really big on trying these new things but honestly guys that is it for my first impressions or unboxing or review of the nano steamer i think that it's absolutely amazing i don't know what i've been doing not doing facial steams often um I, I do go to like the esthetician and get them done here and there but to be able to actually do them at home whenever I want is really freaking awesome so I definitely think that if you're looking for a nice like treat yourself good skin thing kind of like a just relaxation self-care item this is definitely going to be something I would say definitely to take a look at um again this one's by pure daily care but you can do any facial steamer that you find. I saw some on Amazon for $29. Some were way more expensive than that. So if you're real fancy, um, you can check those out. But this one, just it works for me. It's inexpensive and it's nice and it's, it's pretty big. But I like it. I like how it made my skin feel. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me. Let me know down below, do you guys have a facial steamer? Am I the last one to find out that these things are awesome? Do you go and have them professionally done? What is your favorite kind of like facial situation or spa treatment that you get done? And let me know which ones I need to start having done because I need to start taking better care of my face. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!